Spinal cord stimulation devices have two components. The first component is the lead itself, and the second component is the battery or the implantable pulse generator. Let's talk about the leads first. There are two types of leads or electrodes used in spinal cord stimulation. The first type is the percutaneous lead. This is a thin, long lead which is fairly easy to place and can often be placed under local anaesthetic. The second type of electrode is the paddle type electrode. This is a flatter, wider electrode that allows us to cover a greater area of the spinal cord with stimulation. The other potential advantage of a paddle type electrode is that it has a lower risk of migrating or moving than the percutaneous leads. Paddle electrodes can be placed in a minimally invasive way but they are a little more difficult to place than the percutaneous type electrodes and therefore they're typically placed by neurosurgeons. If the trial was carried out using the percutaneous or very thin types of electrodes, these electrodes are typically removed at the end of the trial period. The patient is then brought back a number of weeks later and a whole new system is implanted including the battery itself. If the trial was carried out using a paddle type electrode, which is typically done by neurosurgeons, this may be converted to a permanent system at the end of the trial period itself with a smaller operation. The timing and nature of implantation of the permanent system can be done in two different ways. If the original trial was done by a pain specialist using percutaneous techniques, these electrodes are completely removed, the patient is sent home and they come back a number of weeks later for implantation of a whole new system. If the trial was undertaken using a paddle type electrode, which is commonly done by neurosurgeons, at the end of that trial period this can be converted to a permanent system with a smaller operation. There are pros and cons for either approach and you need to discuss these with your specialist at the time.